Good morning guys, hello from Germany. Today I'm not at the office, but at home, just doing home office. But I just got um, yeah, a couple of requests that we should talk about the 48 volt system. So basically, of course, it's not a high, real high voltage system or it is not a high voltage system, but a few of you are really interested in that. And yeah, by accident, we have a special Unitrain trainer for this or exactly for this topic. And well, I don't have it here, but I have the e-learning course here. And just to give you some information on the 48 volt system, we just jump into that e-learning course right now. Okay, have a good one and have fun. So, all right, let's start here. So we are now in our Labsoft course for our Unitrain course, 48 volt onboard electrical system in motor vehicles. There you see it, or you get slightly an idea of what this is about. But before we start with the actual content, we will have a look how the system looks like. So and this is what you see here. So you're on the left hand side, you have the Unitrain system. On the right hand side is our special module for 48 volt system. And of course, even if, it, if it's really small and handy, you can just use it on the desktop or on any table. Um, you have a real 48 volt system on board and also the 12 volt system. So what is this is about? You have the 12 volt battery basically. You have a, a 12 volt load in that instant that are the headlamps. You have the DC-DC converter of course. And then we enter the 48 volt basically. So what do you have here? This is not limited to these components, okay? You can have, basically there could be any kind of components could be done on a 48 volt uh, level. But of course, it, may, it doesn't make necessarily sense to do it with all of the components as, as they need a redesign. But what we have here, and which sticks basically to the Audi Q7 or to the Audi structure is a electric turbocharger, very interesting and an electric or active sway bar. And in the end, of course, the 48 volt battery. To bring that more in the automotive uh, context, you see here how this could look like. So we have the electric, electric turbocharger, we have our motor generator, we have the 12 volt load, 12 volt battery, that's the um, active sway bar, like I said, and the 48 volt battery. And what you see here, we go in more detail later but you see there are quite new colors introduced to us what you see here so it's purple and yeah you see basically that you have two different bot networks here and in each network you have the different components depending depending on which voltage level uh, they are operating so the DC-DC converter just unite the two worlds, basically the 48 volt side and the 12 volt side. They are coming together here at the DC-DC converter. So it's similar uh, like with the high voltage system, but the big difference is that the high voltage system is completely isolated from the 12 volt system. The 48 volt system, yeah, pretty, um, it's pretty usual that this system is using the same ground like the 12 volt system. And now we have a deeper look into the course. So let's talk first about the motivation for 48 volt board system. So basically, yeah, you can classify that into group of reasons or groups of reasons. Basically the one side, the 48 volt system goes into a more efficient way where it used similar to a high voltage system in order to um, have an, yeah, have recuperation or using as a supporting electric system when you are start driving so basically you start from a um, traffic light you have an advanced start stop system here so basically the car can earlier shut down the um the the combustion engine and just drive or just sail basically on an electric way in order to stop then at the traffic light. So yeah, it's a bit more efficient as you don't have to use the um, combustion engine at very slow speeds. But the other hand, which is also very interesting, it also can, uh, can make a car much more powerful. So 
So what is really interesting here is the Audi SQ7. The Audi SQ7 introduced introduced the um, electric sway bar and electric turbocharger to the world of combustion vehicles. So, of course, with the e-booster, we have a look later what this is. You have a really powerful boosting system, which is not depending on the load of the exhaust gas. And on the other hand, with the active sway bar, you have a really great uh, driving behavior as the, the car do not get to the right or to the left side when you drive into a corner, basically. So these are the two sides of it. You can be more efficient or you can be more powerful. Let's have a look now what this exactly means in Cable detail. coloring and the terminals. They are, of course, we add now some new terminals or some new numbers to the autom automotive world of, of numbering, basically. So we know from the 12 volt system that we have terminal 31 for ground and terminal 30 for 12 volt plus, basically. Now we add some new ones for the 48 volt system, what you see here. So the positive, the 48 volt plus is terminal 40 and the ground is named terminal 41 and also the colors are changing a bit so now we have and this is defined like we have purple here for 48 volt plus and for the ground we have the brown with a purple line on it so this is basically what is new for the 48 volt system regarding the terminals and the cable color okay now let's have a look at the architecture of this onboard electric system. So basically the question is, how do we merge together the 12 volt system and the 48 volt system? And where do we put the starter generator or motor generator depends on, yeah, on what power level this um, component is running. So, first thing is, very easy one, you have the belt starter generator on the 12 volt side and of course the 12 volt system is connected to the vehicle's ground and the 48 volt system as well. So both are using the same ground. Next one is, everything is the same, so still we have the belt starter generator at the 12 volt system. But now we see that the 48 volt system is done as an IT system, what we know from the high voltage system as well. So it means it doesn't have any ground connection or connection to vehicles ground. Then we can have again the situation that both are connected to vehicles ground, but the belt starter generator is now at the 48 volt side, which makes it much more powerful and where you can do more things with that system basically. So not only start the engine, but also doing like um, a little torque boost or something like that. And last but not least, what we have seen as well before, 48 volt system as an IT system, so no vehicles ground connection and the MG, so the belt starter generator is on the 48 volt side. So basically that are the different options which you have. Let's jump now into the different key components. So of course we start with the 48 volt battery. Here's a picture, the original picture from a Volkswagen or from an Audi car basically. You can imagine that this battery is a bit bigger than the normal 12 volt one and you have a nominal voltage of 48 volt, a minimum voltage of 26 and a maximum voltage of 54. So and be careful, we have a real lithium ion battery which is not operating at 200, 300, 400 volt but the same risks which, um, which exist for a high voltage lithium iron battery, same thing we have here. So be aware of thermal runaway, uh, that we need proper charging rules and all that, that uh, thermal or too high temperature is very, very critical and the whole battery can run into thermal th runaway and start catching fire when there's something wrong or there's an internal short circuit with a high voltage battery. So that's pretty important. The DC converter. Um, as we've seen, as we've seen before with the, uh, with the 
architecture, you can imagine that there are two different variants basically. So we see here one version where we have, where we have terminal 40, terminal 30 and a common ground. So 31 and 41 is connected at the same ground point. And then of course there's a variant. So it's, yeah, you don't see the connections here now so good, but then there is of course a variant where you have a separated ground 431 and 41, which makes the system to an IT system. As well, what's pretty interesting is our 48 volt turbocharger. So this is a really powerful unit. It's connected um, with a three phase AC voltage, for example. And the great thing here is, like I said before, you're not dependent to the amount of exhaust gas, which is running through the turbocharger as the exhaust side doesn't exist and it's completely electric. That means from the start, you can directly create a boost. So you can run on um, from, from zero basically, and you can create the boost, which of course increase perfectly the, uh, the time for, for the acceleration. When you want to have more information, just Google e-turbo um, Audi, for example, and then we, you will get more information on that system um, on the internet. Same goes for the roll stabilizer or the active sway bars. What you see here looks a bit funny, but this is actually the, just the component, the sway bar component. This component has a three phase AC voltage motor in it and it can when you have um, like really unstable ground, so where you need high comfort, it can yeah, open the connection between the left and the right side, so it's not connected anymore. But when you are on a good road and you uh, need a hype or you, you, you take in all the potential out of your car and you're driving really fast around the corners, then the thing will, be, uh, will become activated and yeah, it just works as a, the idea of, an, of a normal sway bar with an anti-rolling effect. And because it is active, it can more or less minimalize or even eliminate the complete rolling, which is pretty interesting here. One thing you have really to take care of, I said, or we said that there's a three phase AC voltage. While 48 volt within the DC area is not high voltage, as you know, it starts from 60. This looks completely different when we look at the AC level, because there the um, high voltage area starts at 30 volt. That means 48 volt AC means high voltage. And this is why Audi, for example, uh, used orange wires in order to connect the um, 48 volt board network with this active sway bar motor. So yeah, simply enough, we are at a high voltage level and this is why we need to have the orange wires here. So that are more or less one of the most important components. There are much more, there can be much more. Uh, just have a look at Google. But next, we will have a look at the safety and how we work safely around this um, 48 volt system. As you see, it's, it's not comparable to a 12 volt system. We have a lithium iron um, battery and as well, we could also get to the high voltage area. So what does this mean when we want to work on those systems? Let's okay, what you definitely will find on those 48 volt components, um, i.e at the high voltage battery or thing or components which are directly at the batteries. For example, this sticker here on the right hand side, which shows you that you can't charge it with a 12 volt system and it's a specialized 48 volt system and it must be proper charged that it works. Furthermore, there are also some safety applications realized which you know from the high voltage system as well so let's just have a look back to the dc dc converter you see what you see here is a clap and this clap can only be engaged when the signal here so when the signal is interrupted that means when the cable is pulled out 
on this signal there's also the can hybrid um, used or it communicates over this cable and this is controlling the whole uh, the whole 48 volt system and as soon this is interrupted this will lead to a shutdown from the high uh, from the sorry from the DC DC converter so from that piece here and also it will open the relay at the 48 volt battery so this is a little bit similar to to the high voltage system you remember okay this sounds here a little bit like the interlock what, you, what you're doing here and the relay of course you have the three relays at the high voltage system and here you usually just have this one power plus relay at the 48 volt system okay so in order to work on those things there are some safety measures and um, that make sure that you shut down the high voltage system uh, the 48 volt system sorry gosh what i know so far they don't use any capacitors or so 48 volt capacitors you don't have to worry that the system needs to be discharged so when we're talking about active or passive discharge this shouldn't be an issue here okay now let's have a look at the process for disconnecting or isolation so basically it is the same case that we need to shut down the 48 volt system this is more or less always done in conjunction with the tester so and here you have the protocol which you have to run through so you see what you're doing you switch off the terminal 15 so the normal one which you know then you're disconnecting the 12 charging device if there is one then disconnect the negative pole of the 12 volt battery which makes sure that the 48 volt system is uh, inoperable inoperable you check the meter so pretty much the same pretty much the same like in the um, high voltage thing it's just about another cat cat category and here you have checked that the 12 meter uh, 12 volt is reached so that, that the meter is working properly so you put it in here make okay and then you have to check at the given position that the 48 volt system is really de-energized so close to zero voltage or below five and then really to make it sure that nothing can happen anymore when this is done and you're not running into the danger of creating a spark or anything like that then you're disconnecting the negative terminal of the 48 volt battery as you see here we this is not high voltage as this is dc so you don't need to use special equipment basically here like you do it at the high voltage system when you are working um especially under under voltage on the active sway bar or something like that this is like a high voltage system and when you work under live high voltage there in order to measure something you basically must have the highest um, high voltage qualification from your country so would be for example um, for the imi ev4 in germany it would be level s s3 based on the dguv the us of course uh, unfortunately doesn't have such different categories now there's just asel3 but <laughs> I hope that they will soon improve their system as well and that they get a bit more levels there in order to make yeah the high voltage training even more great again so far so good for the 48 volt system if you have further questions yeah just let me know or check out our unitrain system i i mean it's free free to sell every one of you can achieve it so if you want more information here just check out our unitrain system furthermore i think um or i hope that this video helped a bit especially for the people who ask for it and like i said if you have more questions just let me know otherwise have a great day all the best and see you soon